Hey everybody, welcome to the Clickstoff unboxing of the WizKids DC Hero Clicks Notorious Set, the first mega set with 81 figures out now at your friendly local game store or on store.wizkids.com. Um, mega set, deceased, yeah. Black Lanterns, a lot of bad guys, a lot of bad guys. Um, bursting at the seams with evil. That's right. So, um, at this point of with our unboxing, the set has all been spoiled. So, Jason and I are going to do uh, what we've done in the past for these kind of unboxings. We're going to do two booster sealed, 300 point sealed, uh, build a team, talk about it. Then we'll look at our last two boosters for prizing and our a legacy card for prizing yeah. and talk about probably which team might get to would win the theoretical sealed event so yeah. um so we'll do our legacy card last and we will open up our brick and they really up the uh shrink wrap and security tape on the brick these days so yeah all right here is your first two boosters. Here is my first two boosters. <coughs> Let's see what we get. Um, all right, so my first booster is Black Adam, Zod, Riddler Goon, Gorilla Boss, and just the G-O-O-N Goon. I got uh, Mr. Freeze, Gorilla Grodd, Solomon Grundy, the Gorilla City Warrior, and the G-O-O-N Goon. Okay, and then my second booster is the Chase Hal Jordan with the Brainiac, Cyborgman, Solomon Grundy, and Court of Owls Assassin. <coughs> All right, I got Lex Luthor, the Riddler, Black Hand, uh, Strix, and Accordion Thunderer. All right, you see a baggie in this set, and you think you get kind of excited, but a lot of times it's a Corian Thunderer, which is hey, a great, it's a good figure, it's a really good figure. So let's not downplay that. But. Um, well, Jason, I, I have a I'll give you a hint at what the first 140 points of my seal team is going to be. Would it be a Hal Jordan? <laughs> yeah, I think it's going to be a Hal Jordan. So, oh man, there's a lot of good stuff in here. Um, yeah, this 30 point um, Brainiac with the Outwit and the Team Player. Mm -hmm. And you got Cyborgman for some Perplex. I mean, I, I, I'm always a fan of doing a, a tentpole build, but um, I'm feeling. Hal Jordan <coughs> and Zod for um, 230 points of the build. So I wonder how I can get 70 points of support in with those guys. Um, 70, that would be 25 if I went that route. So not enough to do both. Court of Owls Assassin, not too much support. Drill Boss is a big fella. And I'd really like an enhancement. Um, Brainiac is 80. Man, do I want to drop down? Um, <coughs> uh, Hal to 60? I might. So that would be 60 and 90. That would be 150. That gives me... Um, Cyborgman for Perplex, um, putting me at, it's at 150, 195, and then, man, you almost, playing Brainiac might be a trap, but having Prob and Sealed is so huge. Right. Um, so I would put it at 80, uh, that'd be 275, that leaves me 25 points, that gives me like a Riddler Goon, and a Goon. Um, not a lot of close combat, or I could do the Court of Owls Assassin, 
um, for some stealthy blocking, you know, mm -hmm. people blocking. Um, but might just do the goon. So, all right, I've got mine. Well, what are you thinking on yours? I think I don't have quite as good of boosters as you, but... <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I think Lex Luthor is definitely going to be on the team because uh, he provides everybody with the Superman enemy TA. Yeah. Also right. brings the leadership yep. with him. Uh, so I think we're going to go with him to start. I think we're going to take Black Hand because he has one of the only two... Uh, Ways to start with TK in the set. Mm -hmm. Also, he uh, has Perplex, which is always good. Mr. Freeze, I think we're going to go uh, with, uh, you know, he does the uh, he does the ice blocking terrain you have to break away from. He has the board wide, and if you fail a breakaway roll, he deals damage. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's a running shot character with triple targets. Um, I like that. Uh, and then we got uh, Strix. Strix is going to have the uh, assassin trait, the target, so possibly score an extra twenty-five points for an easy kill, potentially um, mm -hmm. exploit weakness, charged, and a breakthrough with some of those harder defenses. And I uh, think I don't really, I'm not really sure how to finish it off. Oh, I don't really like left. what, I, but that uh, was a two hundred and forty. Um, I think I'm just going to wind up going with is Guardian Thunderer at 50 to get the running shot pulse wave perplex. Right. I like that. So my team ended up being Hal Jordan at 60, Zod at 90. So that would be 150. Cyborgman makes it 195. Brainiac at 80 just to get a prob and a sidestep pulse wave. That would be 275. Riddler Goon because he potentially could get on perplex. Um... Uh, to round out the last 15 for a 290-point SEAL team. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Rid that. Riddler Goon is one of my favorite goons in the set. That's a... That's a... I, know, I got the chase right out of the... Right out of the... Uh, uh, rip there, so... So you ended up being Lex Luthor, Black Hand... Mm -hmm. uh, Strix. And the Thunderer. And, I, and, and a Mr. Freeze and a Thunderer. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's solid. I don't know. I, I don't know if I mean we got a really strong start there. Usually, like we can see, we can see what's in these. Like I have seen some crazy big bricks that contain Hal Jordan. Oh, yeah. So, All right. I mean, there might be. Okay. Might well, be some wild stuff. Might be some wild. Maybe, stuff. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Right. But could be. Okay. Well, here's my second sealed team booster number one. Uh, well, not a Chase Hal Jordan immediately. Hmm. Um, so, Saturn Queen, Gentleman Ghost, Sinestro, Scarecrow, oh, and Superman. I thought I was missing a figure there at first. But... Oh, this is beautiful penguin the skull. penguin. It's so nice. It is. Very nice sculpt. He's uh, shooting gas yeah, out yeah. of his uh, umbrella. umbrella there. Yeah. Um, wow. So... Uh oh, baggy. You never know what could be in a baggy. No. Um, but it's a Raza Ghoul of the non prime variety. Uh, Lightning Lord, White Rabbit Goon, Bizarro, and the Polar Bear Goon. It's like this one I had Super Rare Poison Ivy, Ooh. Brainiac, the Polar Bear, the Joker Goon. And the polka dot man, your MVP, my MVP in the sealed. The yeah. other way to get a TK, not right? really. Yeah, the only other way to get a TK in the set. Yeah, well, you got you got you, your teams have the best reach so far. I definitely had reach, that's for sure. But you don't know quite what you're reaching with. Yeah, if I can poke somebody with an umbrella, hopefully, uh, I think you'd be able to do that. Now, I know Roz is pretty, pretty beefy. Um, he's got the Mastermind Super Senses Toughness. So, I think maybe like an expendable goon sort of build mm -hmm. with um, Roz. Um, but we only got the two goons, which is probably not a bad deal. Um, 
Let's see, that one's got Shape Change. That one's just got the Battle Fury and the... So I'm saying in 30 for the two goons, the Polar Bear and the White Rabbit. Uh, 80, so that'd be 110 for Ra's al Ghul. And then, oh. I tell you, I, Saturn Queen at 100 is, is pretty pretty, dang, pretty, pretty yeah. good for Seal. I, yeah. The prob twice a turn in a 19 defense. Now, here's the thing. Here's what happened mm -hmm. in Team Worlds when I faced her. The guy had Saturn Queen and Black Adam. Okay. And I had the Chase Manhunter at full and other stuff. So, Chase Manhunter took a bunch of hits getting down Black Adam. Mm -hmm. and knocked him down to his sidestep um, stealth clicks. Right. Well, the game was over because Manhunter would always be able to sidestep away into stealth. On the map we were on, mm -hmm. and Saturn Queen does not bust stealth, stealth, nor does she have any movement attack. Right. And Manhunter ignored character. Now, does that mean she's completely unplayable at 100? Mm -hmm. She was great in a Battle Royal at 100. Yes. That Fantastic. Was yeah. I used her to uh, find control of Prime Omac and smash things. Yeah. Uh, that was a pretty great combo. So this Bizarro starts on Click 9, can start on Click 9. Um. And then the Superman is 85 with energy explosion and in power? Oh, and he does the penetrating damage. I mean, like, everything, I'm looking at your cards too here. Mm -hmm. Most all of your stuff has a team ability. So, yeah. I've got in, a couple of wild cards that are here too. I can yeah, because he, well, he could choose team player for the JLA team ability. Mm -hmm. So, I think. I think my team would be 15 and 15 is 30 for the two goons. 80 puts that at 110. 210 with the Saturn Queen backing up Superman at 85. That would be one option putting me at 295. Lightning Lord uses the Perplex. Sinestro's got the running shot Psyblast. Um, man, I, I could see using Sinestro in place of Superman um, as well. Um, but probably not Bizarro. Bizarro seems like he tanks pretty hard if you don't take him the right way. Right. Um, so Roz, the two goons, Saturn Queen, and then Superman or Sinestro, kind of depending on what you're seeing in the Saturn Queen, kind of maybe depending on what you're seeing in the rest of your brick there. And it's solid. Yeah, that's solid. I think so. Double prob and sealed is big. And Saturn Queen's not terrible for no reason. I mean, you know, she's got flight. She does have mind control. She does have a 12 attack. She does have the safe change that deals damage and the 19 super senses. So she's pretty hard to crack. Yeah. Uh, it's is. just... She's really annoying. Character. If the rest of the annoying. team gets picked away, mm -hmm. she suddenly becomes maybe not so great. Right. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, what are you working with, Jason? Oh, not enough points. Um, uh oh, a lot of low point characters here. Okay, I can definitely build three hundred points. Well, but, but you're going to probably look at playing some goons at full. I definitely think I'm going uh, kind of on a, with a ranged build. I have uh, three different characters with uh, wild card. Actually, four different characters. Count Brainiac here, uh, and I've got PDTA. Okay, with a Waller. And some ranged characters, Captain Cold, the Penguin, the Manhunter, all can benefit from the uh, PDTA bonus there uh, to get those defenses down. Um, I think so far I'm looking at Captain Cold at 60, the Penguin at 40, Polka Dot Man at 40 because we get that PK, uh, Amanda Waller at 40, and then the, the Manhunter's 30. That's 210, I believe, there. Yeah. Um, so then I'm down to Poison Ivy, Brainiac, and the Three Goons. Uh, How many points is left? Ni uh, 90 points. So the Penguin can play off his trait, kind of can play off the Goons. I can, I believe really he probably had one in there. Um, right. Because once per turn, when a friendly character uses an expendable Goon trait, you can roll a d6 at the beginning of the Ooh. game. If you're not the first player, generate up to two characters an expendable Goon trait on their 15 point starting line. So I probably want one and the other two on the sideline. Well, it generate comes from outside of the game, yeah. Right, so, yeah. But um, you only have two goons. I only, uh, 
Well, the league yeah, assassin, they, don't, they don't have the that. The assassin's right. yeah. not a goon, yeah. Yeah. They I guess they get that. an upgrade. Yeah. I could play Brainiac at full. He has prob on his top dial. I don't have any prob here on my top dial. Man, it's, it's, that's hard to pass up, I think. Yeah, and but, he's, he sides up Pulse Wave. So you could uh, play the Brainiac at full and just bank that's what, on... That's what I'm saying, play him at full. And because if you're not first player... Yeah, then I could generate these two guys. And then have all the stuff. On their 15-point starting line. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty reliable to not be first player. Yeah, I, I definitely don't have a theme team. Um, right. In any way, so uh, I definitely could probably make that work. I think... This team, actually, Jason, might be able to take down Hal. Yeah. Because you can get the PD low enough with a mm -hmm. prob yep. that you Which might be able to hit. ship it away. Yeah, I mean, we're dealing, we can do a four with cold. Um, All right. I got, I got out with uh, Here's how we determine the theoretical winner between the Captain Cold team and the Manhunter team. Okay. What was your super rare? What was it on that one? Uh, I had well, I had poison ivy that I didn't use, and I had penguin that I didn't okay, use. Okay, sorry. The penguin base team yeah. versus the manhunter base team. Okay. Let's use these cool new dice and token packs from the set. And I always like the uh, to do the uh, first inaugural roll with any of these. So that is the Riddler symbol with Two Face Bane. Mr. Freeze, Joker, Penguin, and the Riddler. And we get the Pogs on the back. The Cats. Oh, the Cats. The Cats. Uh, the Two Thorn Vines. And the Shark from Como Prime. Yeah. Man, I really like to, I really would have liked to pull him, maybe. Yeah, he's in there. Maybe right? he's in there. All right, Jason. Here's what it comes down to. All right. I'm going to roll mm -hmm. an attack. You're going to see if you defend it. Okay. Well, that's a three, mm -hmm. so there's nothing to defend there, I don't think. Yeah. All right. Mind. All right, so I think, Jason, we'll, you would get first pick of our draft. Okay. Theoretical draft. Theoretical draft. Because how Jordan missed, mm -hmm. and yep. the Penguin team hit. So here's our legacy card. Killer, Killer Moth. Moth. Uh, in cap plus two attack value, and they have to break away. Um... I like that. I love that they gave this guy some new life. He was yeah. Um, Still got that thing here. So yeah. All right. Let's see. If we get our prize boosters from our sealed event. All right. So we got a Robin King. All right. So we do get to have another chase in here. Lincoln March. Harley Wait. Quinn. Oh, he's not a chase. He's a super. Oh, he's a super. My bad. Uh, Riddler Goon and the Common Batman. But that Robin King looks really, he's really pretty good. pretty wicked looking, yeah. Yeah, he's stepping on a... A, a skull. skull. Yeah, of... Um, large bird creature. A large bird creature, yeah. <laughs> um, so, Forty and Thunder in the bubble wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a couple we had in this break, so... And... Deadshot. Deadshot, Sinestro, Black Mana Goon, Court of Owls Assassin. So, what are you picking as your prize, Jason? Uh, Robin King, I think. Yeah, it got to be Robin King, right? Yep. So, all right. Well, hey, hope everybody out there is enjoying the new Notorious set. Check it out. Hope you guys are, uh, and gals are enjoying some uh, sealed and some release day events. And um, thanks to everybody for watching this quick stop video. Thanks. With kids for sending us this care package to uh, present to y'all and uh, talk to y'all next time. Later.